You mentioned Fuel TV, and uh, we at HubGarage.com couldn't be more proud to be working with Fuel TV. Tell us a little bit more about Fuel TV. Yeah, no, Fuel TV is uh, very exciting for us. It's a new, our whole new marketing concept that we launched um, probably about three months ago. Um, in the process, it's 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 still in its very early stages. So we're compiling video right now for the actual uh, for the network to launch with. Um, first series is going to be a show that we're calling Fully Loaded, which is going to be our own kind of uh, web-based show, uh, semi-reality based, kind of, we're trying to theme it um, on high-end cars for high-end people, so it's kind of going to be like an uh, exotic stuff to, you know, really high-end stuff though, and, and we really want to keep, so um, first example of that is Chad's Lamborghini, um, you know, being a rock star and letting us take his car and actually do what we've done to that. Not a lot of people are actually willing to do that, and he trusted us actually based on Lavalley's truck. So they kind of, the two actually highlight each other in stories, the two vehicles. But uh, the show uh, after that, um, what we're doing here for King of Customs, will actually air um, following. We might actually, we're not sure, we might transition it in between as we're airing. There'll probably be three segments of the fully loaded for the Lambo. And then from there, we've got a bunch of other stuff in the works. So as soon as things start to launch, it's just going to continually go. Um, the fuel will be added to everything at that point, right? So, but uh, it's going to be more of a lifestyle channel as well. We don't want to just just have cars, and we don't want to just have audio. So this show's really good because we can get some bikes out. Um, we've got you out for this one as well, which is a huge highlight for us, and we're really happy that we could have you actually come out and be part of this whole appreciate that of it too. So. Um, yeah, we're really excited. I can't wait to launch Fueled, and I'm thinking, I'm not sure on the timeline, so I'm not going to say that on the camera, I guess, at this <laughs> point, but once all the footage is grabbed and gathered and edited, then it'll start to happen, and it'll just continually happen. That's the one thing I want to get out to everybody, is that once it launches, I want the, I want stuff to keep going with it. Momentum. Well, I can testify to the great work that these guys do on a personal level. They did the stereo install on my Magnum. It was given back to me a couple years up here in Calgary. I cannot be happier with the work that you guys did. I know there's a little bit of finish-up work you guys are going to do. That might be a future episode as well. That's going to definitely do. We're already trying to figure out somebody else that's going to be in L.A. that we can incorporate it all into. Yeah, we want to come and actually highlight Chris's cars, do a tune-up on the Magnum. The thing had a wicked rattle in it that I could not get out right to the actual day of delivery. And I actually blew a head unit up while I was trying to get it ready like four hours before the truck was coming right. to pick his car up. So, and a uh, very integrated back end that is a lot of work to take apart. It's all really fine finished product back there. So yeah, we'll get out there definitely. It's going to make it an excuse to come out to LA and and work with you again on something. So You can see pictures of my Magnum as well as all of my other rides on hubgarage.com. I encourage you to go there, put up a garage of your own. Let's get this community going. Guys like Travis from Fuel TV, hubgarage.com, we're making it happen, man. Car Guys for Life.